Hello everyone, welcome to Kerry Deed and myself Mohan. At this session, we are going to discuss one of the challenging questions and percentages. Yes, let's have our first question now. Class B has 50 percentage more students than class A. Number of girls in class A is equal to the number of boys in class B. The percentage of girls is the same in both the classes. What percentage of the student group are boys? So if you want to practice, pause the video for a minute, give you a trial, then play the video. Yes, we shall start working. Okay, now we have two classes here, class E and class B. So in class B, we have 50 percentage more students comparing to class E, right? So we can write like this. So in class E, if we have n number of students, so we can keep the number of students in class A as n. Number of students in class A is n. Then what will be the number of students in class B? We know it is 50 percentage higher comparing to class A, right? So in class B, we will be having 150 percentage of the students in class A because it is 50 percentage higher. So whatever we have uh, in class A is 100 percentage. So in class B, that will be 50 percentage higher. So it will be 150 percentage. So it is N into 150 by 100. That is 1.5 times the number of students in class A. Next, number of girls in class A is equal to number of boys in class B. So girls count in class A is equal to boys count in class B. So we can keep the number of girls in class A is number of girls in class A is let it be x. Then what will be the number of boys in class B? So number of boys in class B also x because both are same then you have the percentage of girls is same in both the classes right so in class a if we have 25 percentage in class b also we'll be having 25 percentage so percentage of girls in both the classes are equal okay now we have to find the percentage of student group are boys so we have to find what percentage of boys in both the classes are i mean what percentage of student in both the classes are boys right okay now out of n x number of students are girls then what will be the number of boys okay now assume if out of eight six is the total number of girls then what will be the number of boys it will be two a two by eight right so how we said it is two by eight so it is one minus c one is nothing but hundred percentage so one minus six by eight you get two by eight right so eight into one eight eight minus six you get two so it is two by eight similarly here the number of girls is x to find the number of boys, you can write it as 1 minus x by n, right? So you can write it as n minus x divided by n into 100. So this is the percentage of boys in class A. Now, if you take a number of boys in class X, I mean class B is X. So the number of percentage of boys in class B will be x by 1.5 times the number of students, right? Now we found the total number of boys is n minus x in class A and the total number of boys in class B is x and the total number of students are n plus 1.5 n. Now you have to find the percentage of boys in the student group, right? So it is n minus x plus x divided by n plus 1.5 n into 100. Now solve it, we will get the answer. So plus x and minus x cancel. Now n divided by n plus 1.5 n, that is 1 n, right? So 1 n plus 1.5 n, you get 2.5 n into 100. Now solve this, you get 1 by 2.5 into 100, which is nothing but 40. So in simple, totally 40 percentage of student group are boys in both the classes. So answer for this question is 40 percentage. Hope you understood the problem, right? Okay, in upcoming season, I will come up with a different problem on percentages. Until that, stay connected with Career Deep Training Solution. So, if you found some other different shortcut, please put it in comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.